Aje kina bela uri anete na ipiriotin luko kide na Afrika haze resort o ibuga soroti eka olo olo seta iman mana ifamun lui. Igola serere mlo eko rite project ilo center of innovation for finger millet and sogam ito soma et aga ngata na okinga na emilio na kwata depare. Mamela kore kobone mo yente moto konye ipiriotin da luwe uo mtos ducha kore kebe era bongo kine teke e monyete edye pepo ne. I think there is a, a serious uh, challenge that we continuously face despite of the research effort and all extension work that has been done. This weed is quite uh, different because much as it may not uh, show itself all the time, it can hide in the soil for many years, up to 20 years. So it is really a very difficult weed to manage and also uh, testing some of these materials uh, the, the varieties for tolerance, for resistance, is not quite uh, uh, straightforward like other diseases. Ira na luaro ike moto kesi mo dato si mumwa akuma ekire didi emcheri kaiche dam akode koko kesi mo nyete be emoto nese da anlo etio konu kenoi. Elam area bo aliyoto mo guapu ni mumwa esi mikare mumwa ya Paulo jo kere ibiru na kuhune langi kuhuni mumwa guapu na kesi kida bobo. Dr. Damari Sacheng Deng, a pilot at Naira Noriongetelo International Crops Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics, Ikrisat, Opolo Kitatenu, Nako Kenya, Ngese Mwenyi, Ebe, To, Kide, Ka Ngala Kimaka na Afrika, Nesari Dakitema Tolo Noi. And across those regions, West Africa and Eastern and Southern Africa are the most affected in terms of strike across our cereal crops, which are finger millet, palm millet, and sorghum. Because it's such a complex um, challenge, we are understanding striga both as a pathogen or as a parasite, but also from the host sites. Konye Dr. Eric Manyasa, epilotitilopeti, la Kenya, ngesa ngichu ntachana, aitiko kine moto. I used to produce three bags of maize and three bags of sorghum when I was planted in that field because everything was striking. Today I produce 20 bags of maize from that field and there's no strike. I've sprayed for two years. What we need to do is, can we get safe herbicides in, in view of environmental safety broadly and then give the agronomies here some money to get a permanent field where they strike up. They plant there every season and keep spraying. The second season will do the same. That, you know what you're doing. In four seasons, I can assure you, or three, you will see your population coming down to almost 10% from a million strider to just possibly a thousand. So we use uh, innovations in genetics and biotechnology. We use things like next generation sequencing to be able to understand how different the parasite is, how different striga is across different regions. Uh, we are also trying to understand how the host, that is a a sorghum or finger millet or palm millet is uh, and what makes it uh, resist or be susceptible to um, to strike. So we've also been able to understand that there are different mechanisms involved um, in which the, 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 the plant or the host is using to resist striker. There are also other ways, you know, you can use chemicals to spray, you can also use some cultural uh, methods to be able to uh, manage it. Dr. Ambrose Agona, a director of Lopeti, Lonara, Uganda, Nesabu Yalamikin, Kanwa Achoa na Etetet na Limudi Kenyato, Kizumunite, Keza Aitamanu, we have been trying different methods of controlling it. One area which we have not exploited is the use of biocontrol. And this is an area whereby we think we are going to trailblaze on, evaluate its exactly effectiveness, and see how we can implement it. But then again, through this convening, we have been made to understand that if you use uh, an herbicide called 24D, you apply it before the flowering of the witch weed, then at times just before harvest, you can control it sustainably. Deluxe Amy Alamu, TV East, Soroti.